The first shelter facility was built around the destroyed Chernobyl nuclear power plant almost immediately after the disaster in 1986. It was a temporary reinforced concrete dome that covered all the destroyed structures of the fourth power unit underneath. The dome received the unofficial name of sarcophagus. The second capital shelter was completed only in 2016. Thanks to plant workers, scientists and builders, we can see what is now inside the sarcophagus of Chernobyl. What is inside the sarcophagus? There are still people working at the Chernobyl plant. Most of them are scientists who monitor the radiation situation and the workers who operate the shelter. There are very few of them, which makes it possible for stalkers, illegal tourists, fans of abandoned buildings to show up here as well. They sneak in here in search of a thrill or in pursuit of sensational photographs. Well, these photos are worth a lot indeed. First and foremost for the daredevils themselves. It is said that up to 80% of all radioactive material was left inside and is still there since the accident. In some places inside the sarcophagus, a person can still get a dose in a few minutes, which in normal life each of us gets in 10 years from the natural radiation background. Inside the power plant. A huge dome in the shape of half a shiny steel cylinder covers the entire building of Unit 4, the reactor hall, the control room, the engine room with the turbines and steam generators, all the service rooms, and so on. Or rather, all that's left of them. In more than 30 years that passed since the accident, everything inside turned into piles of rusted metal and crumbled concrete. You shouldn't think of it as a monolithic structure. It is not, the shelter is more like a giant hangar, and it has many entrances and technological rooms. It is designed to prevent radioactive dust from being blown away by the wind, or the soil from being washed away by passing rain. Of course, it also retains a significant part of the radiation from the surface. But there is almost nothing dirty left from above. All hazardous radiating materials remained buried deep inside the destroyed plant. Inside the sarcophagus, near the remaining walls of the station, the radiation levels are not high everywhere. These capital structures were not dismantled, on the contrary, they were carefully reinforced as much as possible. All high-activity long-lived radionuclides remained deep inside. Control Center These pictures show the central control room of the plant. During the explosion in April 1986, it suffered little damage. All this desolation is the result of time and environment. To work inside the station, specialists wear white protective suits made of special polyethylene. The material retains or attenuates some types of radiation. Although, of course, there is no protection from penetrating gamma rays. The main function of these clothes is to prevent radioactive dust from depositing on the body. The main function is performed by respirators, with which people cover their faces. Active dust on the skin is so terrible, contrary to popular opinion. The fractions of a millimeter thick skin surface is good at trapping alpha particles, for example. Of course, if the dust is superactive, the skin will quickly get a burn, up to and including blisters. But no one goes to areas with such activity. It's much scarier if the dust gets inside, like your lungs. It's almost impossible to get it out of there, and a person will be exposed to radiation from inside for many years. That's why a respirator is a compulsory item of clothing here. Destruction and Burial Contrary to popular belief, the explosion did not lead to the complete destruction of the Chernobyl building. The main supporting structures remained in place. The builders of the sarcophagus took advantage of this. All ceilings, roofs, staircases were decontaminated as much as possible, then they were reinforced and additional structures were built. Thus it was possible to prevent the radioactive debris from escaping outside, most of all the dangerous debris remained inside. The new sarcophagus, commissioned in 2017, has a warranty life of at least 70 years. However, specialists are constantly monitoring what is going on inside, monitoring the condition of the structure itself. It is too important to be left unattended. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.